I know we did not hit the first trailer, but uh, with all the new buzz around this Monkey Man mm-hmm. movie, we're going to watch the trailer number two, okay? Yes, we're going to react to it. <laughs> Jordan Peele's company is is uh, producing this this film, and it's getting a lot of attention right now. So we're going to go ahead and watch the trailer, see if it gets our attention. It's got mine. And we'll go from there. Um, but we'll give our thoughts afterwards, so stick around. Let's enjoy this trailer together. Yeah. Do you remember me? Do you even know my mother's name? Do you know any of their names? When I was a boy, they took everything from me. The rich don't see us as people. To them, we're animals. Both of us. We're broken. If a man wishes to challenge the gods, he must become more than a man. He must become a beast. Who is he? Nobody. So some crazy kid from Magara. He has to be extinguished. Before your nobody becomes a somebody. Just one small ember can burn down everything. Make them remember your name. All right, I I got a perfect idea. Perfect idea. Yeah. Once this movie comes out, Mm -hmm. maybe they get a second movie or not. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. We got to bring back the verses, cross universes, John Wick versus the Monkey Man. Okay. We're gonna do because it seems like it's gonna be a John Wick style action. Yeah. uh, So psychological thriller a little bit. I would say there's a couple of movies. um, I want to say it's it's definitely started with John Wick and then. uh, the Hitman's Bodyguard dropped, mm, yeah. and then uh, the Gray no, Man. Nobody with uh, Bob Odenkirk. These kind of gritty, excuse me, hardcore action movies that we're sort of familiar with uh, from the '80s and early 2000s. With you know, the, going from the '80s where they were cool. Right Mm -hmm. to the early 2000s where they were making a lot of these and they were really uh, bad. And now it seems to be there's this resurgence of um, high octane, extremely high choreography um, action films that people are loving. And this looks like another potentially really good one. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely got my attention, one hundred percent. I think the way the the editing, the 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 cinematography is very dim. So it had the cinematography feels a lot like John Wick in some fashion, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Um, 
it's dealing with a different bit of a culture. So there's like the mm-hmm. added element of the rustic, I guess it's Indian culture. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. I, but and I mean, it feels always Bali, said, but no, it's not. Yeah. We've always said like, um, um, uh, Hollywood asks for, you know, we want, you know, we want diversity of, um, race, especially in movies and, and films. <clears throat> and, we, you know, I've always said, so, you know, just do an entire movie like in India or in China that's and make it mass appeal. And yeah. when when you see those kinds of films, they work and, and they have mass appeal and people love them. And that's I, that makes me really excited for um, what people can do with this after th- movies like this. Mm hmm. I think it's uh I think it's overall going to be pretty pretty well enjoyed. I mm-hmm. it's not going to feel like Jordan Peele. It's just is I they're using the marketing to really push this. Yeah. I, if you're not paying close attention, you might think this is his next movie. Mm-hmm. It's not. He's not directing it, but his production company is is mm-hmm. uh, is the one funding this thing. So yeah. I think it'll be a good time. I haven't liked all the movies his production company has funded, mm-hmm. but this one seems promising as far as enjoyment and interest from the trailer. I right. Guess. Yeah. So let us know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you're interested in watching monkey man, when it comes out, also subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. So you could watch more videos like this. Thanks for liking the video. We'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.